All right, the mantle is all cleaned off. You can really see just how narrow this is. So I'm gonna show you guys my tricks for having a full mantle, super decorated, even if it is narrow. Now my garland is a mixture of super skinny strands that are pre-lit that I think I got at Kmart like seven years ago, two from Balsam Hill, and then some like Amazon sprigs thrown in there. So I like to layer my garlands pretty long. And they're pre-lit. The container has all of my other garland. So to have like a really unique, thoughtful, full looking mantle, like I said, I like to layer. And this cypress, it's like a cypress and a fir, I believe. They're just strands. You throw them in there, they look great. These are the super skinny ones that I was talking about from Kmart, look at this, it's like nothing. But they're lit, so underneath the ones from Amazon, it gives like a really nice glow and you're like, where is that coming from? I'm gonna show you a couple other tips for making your garland look really glowy if it's not lit. All right, this is my secret weapon when it comes to hanging mantle. Let me do that. This is my secret weapon when hanging garland on our mantle or even lights outside. These are the command hooks they are, they rebranded them actually because people were doing this. They used to be wire holders. Now they're actually called light clips and they redid them so that they can withstand the colder temperatures. So I am thrilled about these because in years past we would buy, they looked the same, but they were cord holders and they didn't do super well in really cold temps. But I'm excited for this year. Okay, so let me show you how neat this is. So really the mantle itself is not doing the majority, the mantle itself is not gonna be doing the majority of the work here. It's really gonna be these clips because we're gonna slide the garland, like the thicker part of the garland under here and it's gonna lock it into place. Just to preface, you will be able to use this method with whatever kind of style you want to do, whether it's a large, you know, cluster on one side hanging, you want to have some sort of draping in the center like we're going to do, or you want something more symmetrical, this will work. I'm also going to show you how to hang your stockings. What you want to do is put your cord clips more towards the front. I'm doing around seven to eight, depending on how long your mantle is, and you want a few in the back as well. This is going to secure our skinnier garland, doesn't have a lot of weight. You just want to make sure that it's not going to be competing for space or weight or anything like that. So having it secure is really helpful. Pro tip, always check your pre-lit garland to make sure that it is still working before you get to down the rabbit hole with your arrangement. Next, we are going in with the non-lit Amazon garlands. They look so realistic and really make your garland on the mantle look elevated. And people are gonna be like, well, where did you get that from? And you can tell them that it's from Amazon and it's like four different garlands. I also added hooks on the front side because I decided I wanted to do kind of like a draping swag style. I really like that. It's very traditional, but very pretty. And having the asymmetrical weight on the left side is gonna make it have a modern touch. And then you just wanna attach the garland with the like the, the structure in the center of the garland. That's basically all of the, the branches are attached to. That's what I am using. I'm not using the actual branches in the 3M cord holder. Don't forget to fluff and zhuzh your garlands as well. Make them look nice and full. Now for some extra light, I found this really cool LED battery pack fairy light situation and I'm just gonna weave this in and out of all the garlands so that the whole thing ends up looking lit. This is really special because it's just gonna give so much more dimension and give that whimsy vibe. I have this bell garland that I made last year, which I believe is in another Vlogmas episode. These were just um, Amazon bells and some twine. And I was gonna drape it in the middle and then I was like, you know what, no, we're gonna weave it in through the garland, don't worry, it's not staying <laughs> just like laying on top like that. We are going to weave it in and out so you don't really see the cord. I also have this gorgeous antique star garland from Terrain. You guys know how I feel about Terrain. The best whimsical Christmas decorations ever. So this one, I did decide to kind of give the drapey swag look and I am going to kind of tuck the wire in as well. If you want that show-stopping designer-like Christmas decor, mixing and matching and getting things that are maybe a little bit 
unassuming, things that you wouldn't necessarily put together, that's usually what ends up working and looking really cool. So we have different kinds of garland, different lights, extra bells and little baubles and things that just make it look really special and thoughtful and different and that is what is key. The other nice thing is that my mantle, even though it is narrow, I can fit candlesticks and I can kind of wedge them. And this is just a great tip for you guys as well. You can kind of hide them, tuck them into the garland. Again, just looks really cool. It's kind of the same concept of having a matchy matchy furniture set. There's nothing wrong with it, but if you want your space to look a little bit more designed, mixing and matching is the way to go. Another important factor is adding interest. When people look at it, can they continue to stare at it for a few minutes and find new things to look at? We're gonna add these battery powered drippy candles. They give that old world traditional vibe, which I love. And I'm gonna put them on top of the mantle just to illuminate that underside even more. Some other ideas would be to add reflective items like mirrored mercury glass, baubles, candle votives, things that are going to continue to reflect and make your space really bright and twinkly for Christmas. Now, depending on your design, you can add fullness with sprigs and picks. You can get these on Amazon, at Joann's, Michael's, those sorts of places. They can be natural looking elements or they can be more decorative, fun, colorful things. Another way to add some fullness is to add more greenery. This is also a great way to hide those outlets that I really do not want to be seen. For our stockings, we are also going to be attaching these with our cable hooks. Now, if you can fit a little cute decorative holder go for it. Be my guest. But for my design, I want it to kind of lend towards a more natural look like they're just there and they fit there. So we are going to hide the hooks underneath the garland and this works perfectly. Guys, we hung this entire thing using one tool, one thing. That's incredible. I mean, anybody can do this. There's so many different ways to hang it in different formations. Have fun with it and Merry Christmas. Come here. Okay, let's go. I have to take you one at a time. Hold that, Ronnie. Good job. Good. Ready? You ready? Come on. 